let me just say this. This is a movie that I went on the record saying that I had little to no expectations for this film oh, that's for a cool at one. all. I am a DC fan. Let me say that first and foremost. Uh, I am someone who considers myself a big time in, enjoyer of DC. And I went into this movie suspecting that it would be horrible. Um, and my evidence for that was the majority of DC cinematic projects are horrible. Uh, I thought the first Suicide was Squad was horrible. I thought Justice League was horrible. I thought even some movies that DC fans swear by, um, like Man of Steel, are pretty bad. Um, so I didn't have really any expectations for this film. And so I went into this movie just kind of going, all right, this is going to be a money pump. Uh, you know, they're marching Harley Quinn out again right before October so that they can sell Halloween costumes. It's so transparent. I think every blonde chick on the planet dressed as Harley Quinn when the first one came out. So why not run it back, right? Make a, make a few hundred million dollars in toys and costumes and dog. James Gunn put up a finger to my mouth and said, no, no, no. Watch. And it turns out this movie was actually pretty good. I was shocked. It was actually fairly interesting. Way more interesting than the rest of the DC projects that have come out lately. I'm going to say it wasn't a great movie. It wasn't like a 10 out of 10. I wasn't like blown away. Again, this isn't a movie that is going to stay with you always, but it's as good as any Marvel project recently. I was like, hey, what the f DC did a fun superhero movie. Holy what the hell? I was shocked. And it's amazing because... uh. It's as good as any Marvel project. Yeah, I said what I said. Oh yeah, wow. this for a cool movie has some levity. Um, it's got some levity. It's got some humor that actually made me laugh. Obviously, the cast is absurd. Uh, it's got some strangely very pretty cinematic moments in it. This moment, if you've seen the film, strangely beautiful moment for what it is. Like when you consider this scene for what it is, it's it, it's maybe one of the worst nightmares you could ever contemplate in your head, and somehow it comes off as uh, kind of pretty. And the other thing um, I would say about this film is, unlike almost every DC project I've ever watched, it has stakes. Oh my god! Finally. A movie where I actually care about the main characters. Oh, that's for a cool. Where I actually feel like there is some some real drama. Even though this is a dark comedy, this movie has more stakes, drama, and character than any DC movie that they've made recently. I actually cared about a few of these characters. I actually experienced some catharsis. Even though Ratcatcher's little trip down memory lane was a little ham-fisted, I still got a little misty. When she had her moment with her father, I went, Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm feeling something in a DC movie. You gotta be kidding. I might sound like a Knicks fan or a Jets fan or a DC fan at this point, but this movie gave me hope. It gave me hope that there isn't something just inherently wrong with DC, right? For a minute, I started feeling like, am I just dumb for being a DC fan? Is the problem just on, on a, an IP level that this many directors have just been so bad in this space? Is it is it so ridiculous to think that 
the that DC movies can be at least as passable as Marvel movies. And this movie kind of gives me hope that we might get some cool DC characters yet. I don't know if we'll get them from this iteration of the universe. Like, I think I'm not excited at all for the Flash movie, and I f- love the Flash. I f- adore the Flash, and Flashpoint Paradox is such a good story, and I have no faith in that movie. Black Adam might actually be good. A movie that I literally have been dreading. Black Adam with Dwayne The Rock Johnson might entertain me. So I think very much in spite of itself, I would say this is a fun movie. I mean, it's violent as anything I've ever seen in my life, but I laughed. I I enjoyed it. I give this movie probably like an 8.4 out of 10, 8.3, maybe closer to an 8. Nothing that's going to change your life, but I was not bored. I really had a fun time. That score is higher, and I'm going to tell you why it's higher. A lot of people are saying 7, a lot of people are saying 7, 6, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I disagree. And part of the reason I disagree is this was continuing a movie that I would give a solid three. Uh, the first suicide squad sucked. Like it was maybe one of the worst movies I've ever seen. And so for James Gunn to come in and basically CPR this IP and make it this fun I I was like shocked the fact that this was a passable movie was shocking to me